Let, let's reflect on Saturday night's show um, mm. briefly. Dave Allen, David Price, before yeah. we go to the main event. Yeah. What did you... Obviously that? unhappy that it was so one-sided, I guess. Yeah, but what, what I mean, many things, really. I mean, I think David Price hasn't quite got the credit for his performance. I thought he boxed really well. I thought the jab was great. I thought he boxed and, and hurt Allen repeatedly with fast combinations to the body, kept slowing him down. You know, I know that he was stretched out of the ring, Dave Allen, but if you want my, my opinion, I thought his performance was quite poor. Um, partly because Dave Allen was so, uh, Dave Price was so good, but I, I don't think he put it together on the night. And it's disappointing because he trained as hard as he could and Dave, uh, Darren Barker done a great job, but he didn't really do the things that they were expecting him to do. He seems to get discouraged quite early. I think so. And, and you know, another thing that he said in his social posts, which are always quite cryptic uh, in the last 24 hours, was that he says this guy's, as in him, has turned into a big soft man in the last which means that his desire and his toughness might have um, deserted him which if that's the case he should probably retire from the sport because in that division and in the sport in general once that happens it becomes a very dangerous place to be he's made a lot of money over the last year much more money than he would ever dream of making from the sport and he is now in a position to buy himself several properties outright which is always a place that I love to see our fighters be um, you know he's now gone from being in a big fight if he would have won and saying well if I win this fight I could fight to stepping down a level to fight the I don't know cash alleys and like those kind of guys do you want to be there Similar you know, position, perhaps, to David Price a couple of years ago. Yeah, right? exactly. And Price has put three wins together. So now Price has put three wins together. Back He's back in the mix. Do you want to do that? Do you have the desire to do that? Do you have the energy to do that? Do you have the health to do that? And the key for Dave Allen, and the, what in, is the only thing that's important to me, and I think this goes for the general public, is that he's happy and healthy. And if he's not healthy, or he's not happy, <laughs> but then he might say, well, I'm only happy when I'm fighting. It's a very difficult sport he's got to retire walk away from. from. Yeah, I know, but he's quite young. Yeah. You know, but he has been in tough fights. You know, he's taken damage in fights. He's sparred very, very good fighters. So, you know, the, the main thing for me is, from a health perspective, get to the bottom of that, and then talk to him about his career. But to walk away after everything he's achieved, not a problem. You know, he's, he's really gone to places that I don't think many people would expect him to. I think you're wanted, so I better round up the questions. But um, Dillian White, yeah. very impressive performance. Yeah, good performance. Probably the best of his career so far. Yeah, I think um, sometimes you've really got to look closely at what he's doing to realise how good the performances are. His body punching is so good, and his jab was amazing. I mean, I think 50 jabs around he was throwing, something like that. Rivas was great. I mean, he kept coming all night, but Dylan would do enough to discourage him by just continuously hurting him. It just looked and, like a veteran yeah. against a plucky yeah, yeah, contender. Yeah, yeah, it was. And uh, we expected maybe that to be the reverse because yeah. of their experience exactly. and uh, their sort of history in boxing. That's why I think Dillian's so impressive because he's continuously beating these top 10 level guys who have been doing it a lot longer. So now he's mandatory. We, we know we've got to work on when that will be, but he is mandatory. And he's never been there before, so he's in a great position. And just last before we let you go, you've been saying that the favourite for the Joshua rematch with Ruiz is Cardiff. Mm -hmm. Is that still the case? Still the case, yeah. I mean, it doesn't mean that another venue won't get it, but certainly... What percentage would you say that it's going to be in the UK people. rather than in the US? Rather than specific venues? 60%, 65%, okay. 65%. something like that. And that's what we'll yeah, go with. You it always up. ask me that. I, I say yeah. these and then... Because they're good headlines. Go to America they're and good then headlines. someone goes... You said it was 65%. 64 I, was like, oh, no, I didn't want to say, but I, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, I think it's definitely the front runner. Brilliant. Well, we thank All you right. for your time. No worries. Look forward to the presser.